This is the all new 2016 Toyota Tacoma, the best seller in the midsize pickup truck category by far. People look to Toyota for quality, dependability, and reliability. Those are the top reasons for buying this truck. So what they've done for 2016 is they've baked in all kinds of new technology that lets it go off-road quite easily. Look at this extreme angle the truck is coming down now. But they also have another set of principles that they wanted to achieve, and that's making it more refined, quieter, and a nicer cabin on the inside. They've improved noise, vibration, and harshness by 43%, making it a very nice place to spend some time. So today we're gonna to take it off-road and find out what this new Toyota Tacoma can do. The off-road features in this truck, we've taken it to the next level. So we wanted to, of course, refine our, our ride on-road, but also uh, take our legendary off-road capability to that next level. So we put in multi-train select, and what that does is it controls wheel slippage based on how the operator wants to adjust it. So if you're in sand or mud or you're on rock, it has different friction in the surfaces and it adjusts the amount of wheel slippage that's allowed in the traction control so you get over it. Uh, the other feature which is really cool is our latest generation crawl control. And what crawl control does is it controls wheel slippage uh, to a level that an operator, a professional driver, can control it. And it's adjusting brake pressure and throttle angle to give the appropriate amount of torque to each wheel independently. Uh, so all the driver does is focus on their spotters, they focus on driving, and the truck does everything by itself. It's kind of like uh, off-road cruise control. So Toyota put a lot of effort into the off-road capabilities of this truck, but it has to obviously work on-road. And the engineers here were telling us that a lot of Toyota Tacoma owners don't tow. It's more for its outback capabilities and for people using it in urban environments. Now, they spent a lot of time reducing the amount of noise and vibration and harshness, and they improved that measure by 43%. They've also improved the aerodynamics of this vehicle by 12%, which also helps reduce the amount of noise that comes into the cabin from the wind and the road. Okay, I'm backcountry roads here, and this truck is actually relatively quiet and smooth to drive even though I'm going over some very bumpy terrain. So I think mission accomplished and if you're driving this on city roads it's going to be very refined and quiet. On road very nice, gravel excellent on off road. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to go one more stop and that's going to drive over some big rocks and boulders in the off road version. So it's in the rock setting and uh, here we go over the rocks. So I'm driving now, right? Yes, sir. So steering and braking, I'm doing all that. Mm -hmm. And then partway through this, we'll put it in crawl and let the, the truck do the work, right? Yes, sir. So when you're in crawl, how many stages are there? Do you know, like a You speed? have, there, it's just, it's one through five kilometers. Right, okay. Engage the crawl control, we'll go crawl two. That's like two kilometers an hour then, right? Yeah. Okay, so all I'm doing now is steering. So that noise is the ABS. Working, yeah. Just keeping the right in the in the sticky spot, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of helping control your speed as you go along. Amazing. Mm-hmm. It makes a pretty extreme course uneventful, doesn't it? it makes it safer. Huh? But one of the real neat features about the uh, the new crawl control is you can bury itself. You can bury the truck up to its axles, and you set the crawl control focus on steering and it'll dig itself out. So it slowly builds sand up under each tire, again, sensing how much wheel slippage is there and it'll dig itself out of a stuck condition and back out. Now the technology that's in this new V6 engine, so it's a three and a half liter engine, it's kind of techie talk here. They have the ability to run on what's called port injection and direct injection. They can go either way. And they have the ability to use what's called the Atkinson cycle and then the normal driving mode for a regular gasoline engine. What does that really mean to somebody that's driving every single day? Well, it means that they can make this vehicle efficient when it needs to be. They can give you the power when you need it for when you're accelerating, uh, when you're doing off-road maneuvers, what have you. But when you're just cruising along with light throttle, it goes to that Atkinson cycle and that gives you much greater fuel economy. So having the two kinds of injection systems and the two kind of drive modes for the engine makes this new V6 engine very high tech in the mid-sized truck space. 
we completely redesigned the interior and the materials that we're using, we focused on grain, quality of the material, colors, and really tried to refine the whole inner cabin experience going along with our sound uh, improvement, our MVH improvement of the truck. Uh, we have features like Qi wireless charging. We, uh, we have all new audio systems with 7.1 inch screens in it. Uh, in the meter, we've added a color TFT display, a multi uh, information display, and it shows tire pressure and pitch and roll and fuel economy and many other features in there. Again, giving customers a little more refined experience driving the vehicle, but also allowing them to see other things as they're, again, with our off roads. We have uh, leather trim now on the TRD Sport. We've refined the seats themselves to make it uh, a much more comfortable atmosphere for the customer. And in the center console, we used to have a lid that opened sideways. We now open rearward. It gives us more carrying capacity and it's easier to access when you're driving. The Toyota Tacoma was already the best seller in its class. They could have just coasted along selling the previous product, but no, they've been pushing down on the accelerator with the engineering, the technology that's gone into this all new model. It's more capable off-road. It can go places you probably wouldn't think a truck could go. And on-road, for those that don't need all that off-road capability, it's quieter, it's more refined, and much more opulent on the inside. It's got a very high-tech engine under the hood, especially that V6 that gives you the power when you need it, and the efficiency when you want it. Tacoma Access cab models range from just under $28,000 to just over $35,000. Double cab models start at just over $36,500 and the top limited model is just over $44,000. Fuel economy is rated at 13.1 liters per 100 kilometers city and 10.5 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway for an automatic V6 equipped 4x4 double cab. The Toyota Tacoma, already the class leader, and with all of the updates for 2016, I don't think it's going to be challenged anytime soon. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. If you want to watch a full review of the new 2016 Toyota Venza, click the picture on the left.